Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Forge. Last time we lost and the reason that we lost was that uh, we we were just screwed in terms of our uh, starting hand. Or well, not the starting hand but throughout the entire fucking game. Like the deck had forest cards at the top and uh, nothing else. Like I was getting a shit ton of mana but nothing to use it on. And I'm fucking pissed off at that. That was absolutely insanely terrible. I'm not going to lie, I don't like any of that. Let's keep this current hand. Like that was just... I, w I got really pissed at the end, I'm not going to lie. I got really fucking pissed. Let's summon a Feral Prowler, which is a once left free cat creature with the effect of when Feral Prowler dies, draw a card. Like that was just insanely bad luck. I don't I I, I can't even imagine how unlucky you, you have to be to get to that point. He summons a Ravenous Rats, which is a 1 slash 1 creature, which has the effect of when Ravenous Rats comes into play from your hand, your opponent chooses and discards a card from his or her hand. Ignore this effect if your opponent doesn't have any cards. So that sucks. Right now I have to choose a card to discard from my hand, and let's do that with... Uh, with Shift and Monitor, sure, why not. So, so Chef and Monitor went into our graveyard, that's fucking annoying, but it is what it is, you can't really do anything about that. Let's, uh, yeah, let's not do anything, let's end our turn and move on. He will summon a King's Assassin, which is a 1 slash 1 uh, creature, which has the effect of on your turn, before you attack, you may tap King's Assassin to destroy any one tapped creature. That's even fucking worse. Let's summon Query Hauler, which is a 4 slash 3 camel creature, which has the effect of when Query Hauler enters the battlefield, for each kind of counter on target permanent, put another counter of that kind on it or remove one from it. That's uh, not really necessary, but it's a cool effect nonetheless. Let's attack him with our Feral Prowler for now. Like, Feral Prowler has only one power, so it can't do that much. But it's enough to slowly count. Now he summons a Corrupt Court Official, which is a 1 slash 1 advisor creature, with the effect of when Corrupt Court Official comes into play, your opponent chooses and discards a card from his or her hand. You know this effect if your opponent doesn't have any cards. Well, that sucks. Let's discard our Shed Weakness. Now he... He summons another Ravenous creature. And ravenous rats to have me discard another one of my cards. Fucking Christ, are you shitting me? This is terrible. Fuck me, this is just genuinely goddamn terrible. Let's attack him with our feral prowler. Fuck this shit. We do some damage to him. We he summons a predatory night stalker, which is a free slash two night stalker creature with the effect of when predatory night stalker comes into play from your hand, you may force your opponent to destroy any one of his or her creatures. Your opponent chooses the creature. Okay, I'm dis I'm destroying my feral prowler. Fuck this shit. I need a a, be a better card. Let's summon a Prowling Silver Pile, which is a 4 slash 3 cat snake creature with the effect of Prowling Silver Pile can be countered. Creature spells you control can be countered. Okay, that's fine. Now he summons a Brutal Night Stalker, which is a 3 slash 2 Night Stalker creature with the effect of when Brutal Night Stalker comes into play from your hand, you may force your opponent to choose and discard a card from his or her hand. My god, sacrifices of the gift of strength, why not? Let's summon another Feral Prowler. Like, we need something to defend ourselves with. Like, the, this is just insane. Look how many creatures he has and how little few creatures I have. He summons a Wei Assassin, which is a 3 slash 2 soldier's creature with the effect of when Wei Assassins comes into play, your opponent chooses one of his or her creatures. Destroy that creature. Ignore this effect if your opponent has no creatures in play. So, I get to destroy another Feral Prowler. 
which is fine. Let's um, let's cast the ambuscade. Oh no, let's summon a colossal dreadmaw, which is a six slash six dinosaur creature which has trample. I really want to summon colossal dreadmaw. Now we have a significant amount of creatures. He summons another way assassin, so I will have to select another one of my creatures to destroy. Let's destroy Query Hauler, why not? There's so much bullshit on this field, goddammit. Let's start casting Ambuscade. Ambuscade is an instant which has the effect of target creature you control gets plus one plus zero until end of turn and it deals damage equal to its power to target creature an opponent controls. So let's use this on our Colossal Dread mod to have it do damage to which one do I want? None of these effects really concern me that much. So let's just look at the stats. Ultimately the free slash two creatures are the most annoying, so let's get rid of those. And let's cast the ambuscade once again to uh to destroy his brutal night stalker with our colossal dreadmaw. And now since we're here, let's uh, let's alpha strike him. He will block us. He will block my uh, my my colossal dreadma with both his way assassins, which is uh, which are strong enough to kill my colossal dreadma because each way assassin has free power, and m so both of them combined have a total of six power, which is equal to my colossal dread. Of Dreadmaw's six toughness, so that will be enough to destroy it. But on the da on the flip side, I a, a colossal Dreadmaw has right now eight power, so that should be enough to kill both of his way assassins. So let's do that. And everything extra goes against my opponent. He. Ah, I forgot about King's Assassin's effect. With ki with his King's Assassin, he can tap his King Assass his King's Assassin to destroy one of my tap creatures, which in this case is, is my Prowling Sepal Bard. So that's enough to kill my Prowling Sepal Bard. I only get forest cards from this point on, so he's constantly attacking me with everything he's got. Let's summon a giant spider, which is a 2 slash 4 spider creature with reach. He summons another way, uh, way assassins. And now I have to destroy my giant spider. Well, I'm fucked. I got no more creatures on my side of the field. He summons a grave digger, which is a 2 slash 2 creature, which has the effect of when grave digger comes into play from your hand, you may choose your choose to return a summon creature from your discard pile to your hand. And now he casts... Uh, Predatory Night Stalker. Like this is fucking terrible. God damn it! Like m much like always, it takes four fucking ever for for the good cards in my di in my library to 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 appear in my hand. Like that was terrible. I hate how my deck is structured. But god damn it, he also fucked with me a lot with his discard effects. No, this is a terrible starting hand. I have only one forest card. Like, what the fuck is this? Why is everything so uneven? Why do do some games I get only forest cards and other games I don't get enough forest cards in my starting hand? Like, that's just bullshit all around. God damn it. Yes, keep this card in hand. I don't give a shit. Let's summon a cross and druid, which is a 2 slash 3 uh, uh, centaur druid creature with the effects of kicker f uh, for 1 green mana and for other mana. Uh, the kicker means that uh, I may choose to pay this extra mana cost if I have it. And uh, if I do pay it, then then cross and druid... Uh, uh, 
uh, will will uh, will allow me to gain 10 life that's that's quite cool but in the end i don't uh, i don't really need that kicker effect so let's just summon of course and druid he summons a king's assassin as usual i don't want to attack him with my cross and druid because that would mean that uh, that will mean that he can tap his King's Assassin to destroy my Cross and Druid, which I do not want. He summons a Cunning Advisor, which is a 1 slash 1 Advisor creature with the effect on. On your turn, before you attack, you may, un you may tap Cunning Advisor to force your opponent to choose and discard a card from his or her hand. I so hate these discard cards effects. God fucking damn it. Now he tapped it to have me choose a card to discard. I'll discard a shared weakness. He summons away assassin uh, right now, which means that I will have to choose a creature to destroy. And I will destroy one of my creatures. Yeah, it's about time we start uh, getting serious because I'm getting absolutely fucking destroyed. I will cycle my Shifir Monitor for, for for one green mana and three other mana. Cycling means that I discard this card, so it will be sent to the graveyard. But in 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 its stead, I will get to to draw uh, a different card from my library. And also, the Shifir Monitor has the effect of when you cycle Shifir Monitor, you may search your library for a basic land card or a desert card, put it onto the battlefield, then, then shuffle your library. So I will use this effect. Let's cycle our card for 4 total mana. And let's use its effect to, to search out another forest card. Like this one. And we get Cartouche of Strength in return, which is definitely not what I needed. I get to discard another card. Oh well, that sucks. He summons a Brutal Night Stalker now. So I have to discard another card. Let's discard Cartouche of Strength. I have, I finally have enough mana to summon a Bramble Wave Behemoth, which is a 6 slash 6 elemental creature with the effect of Trample, which means that this creature can deal excess combat damage to defending player or planeswalker while attacking. So let's use this to our advantage. He taps his Cunning Advisor to force me to discard another one of my cards. And now he summons another Way Assassin to force me to, to destroy my Bramble with Behemoth. God fucking damn it, this fucking sucks. I will summon a Query Hauler, which is a 4 slash 3 camel creature, with the effect of when Query Hauler enters the battlefield, for each kind of counter on, tar on target permanent, put another counter of that kind on it or remove one from it. And now he uses his Cunning Advisor again to have me discard another one of my cards. Uh, I'll let that attack pass through. He summons a Ravenous Rat, so I'll have to discard my final card from my hand. And right when the, another Forest card came so that I could have summoned my, my creature, I end up not being able to do so because I had to, to discard it. Like, this fucking sucks. God damn it. I really hate these games. What the fuck was that? The forest cards just don't keep on coming when I need them to come, and they come in every single other instance when I don't need them. Fuck me, this is terrible. We're down to 57 cards in our green deck, so we need to add more cards to it, but god fucking damn it, this is absolutely disgusting. We're getting our asses kicked, and I just don't know what to do about it. I need better cards, honestly. Like this just sucks. We need we need something a bit better. I don't even know what I need. I need I need something a bit better, like something to block him with, some some cheap creature to summon that's easy to block with, or at the very least something that's not completely fucking terrible. 
Like my cards are prohibitively expensive and the forest cards just don't come at the right time. They just fuck with you. This fucking sucks. Let's add a bunch of explorers to my hand because right now what I'm lacking is a way to draw proper cards. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm really sorry for constantly losing these past games, but damn, this, these opponents are difficult. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to get in touch with me, I have a Mastodon account as well as a Matrix room that you can join. Details of which you can find in the description of this video. And in the meantime, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.